this video, I'll show you how to use the Elmo CRA1 wireless tablet with our student response system. First, you'll take the SRS wireless adapter and sync it with the tablet by pressing the button on the adapter and the button on the back of the tablet. Now, you can use the tablet to annotate and control the classroom from anywhere in the room. So I'm going to ask a question using my candy. I'm going to make a pattern. And my question is, what comes next? So now, I'll say what comes next in this pattern. Is it A, B, or C? There's three choices in this question, so I'll select 3C, and then I'll start the time. Now my students can key in their answer. And when time is up, I'll press the stop button, select the correct answer, and go to my results. We can also use the tablet as an interactive whiteboard. If I click on the whiteboard icon, I get a blank screen, and now I can make up my own question. So I'm going to ask, where do all of our rocks come from? Do they come from A, the Earth's crust, B, the outer core, or C, the inner core. There's three choices, so I'll select 3C and start the time. When I'm finished, I can press the stop, choose the correct answer, which is A, and then go to the results. We can even ask a question from a video recording or a time-lapse video. Click on the Teaching Material folder and you can find your video. You'll know the videos because they'll have the video camera symbol in the corner. Double tap to watch the video. And now, when I click on the icon in the upper right-hand corner, I can annotate and I can say, this is what happens when you add a little bit of hydrochloric acid to granite rock and calcium carbonate. Uh, nothing happens with the granite, but we see the reaction with the calcium carbonate. What we're seeing is carbon dioxide is being released. The water is capturing the air, which causes these bubbles. So my question is, what is left over True or false is what's left over calcium chloride. And then I'll bring up my teacher's control panel. This is a true or false question, so I will select true or false at the bottom and start my time. And after my students have responded, I can stop. The correct answer is true. And I'll go to my results. At the end of the quiz, we can select a student of the day. If we go to the menu icon on the teacher's control panel and select student of the day, I can now choose any student. It doesn't necessarily have to be the student who had the highest score. It can be the most improved student or the best team player. I can choose from any of these student of the day certificates. And I can write the student's name. And then I can sign here at the bottom and then I can print this out for the student to take home. 
Watch the next video to learn about our software's special features.